Today I'm going to show you how to find and how to insert these five sound effects in Canva. Here I am in canva.com and we're going to start by creating a video document. I am located in the video section of my homepage and then I'm going to select the first option that says video and create blank. Once you are in the editor, you would like to upload the video that you want to edit. So I already uploaded mine. You can go to the uploads section and use this button to upload your video. I already uploaded mine. So if you go below, you will see images, videos and audio. Click on the videos tab and you will find the video that you just uploaded in here. So I will bring mine to my empty page and now I will show you the different ways that you can use to insert sound effects to your videos. So let me show you the first one. I'm gonna collapse this window because I don't need it anymore. Now let's pay attention to the section at the bottom because we're gonna work a lot in here. We're gonna work with this guide. You will see this little arrow pointing downwards and this black line. We're going to position this line on the specific part of the video where you would like to insert the sound effect. So let's say that I want to insert my sound effect on second eight. So I position my line in here, then I drop it. And now we're going to work a lot in the audio section of the editor. So go to the menu on the left, open audio. And in here, we're going to search specific keywords to find the sound effects that I showed you at the beginning. So the first keyword that we're going to use today is champagne cork pop SFX hit enter and now you will find this huge list of sound effects and let me bring one of them to my video. So if I want to insert one of these sound effects, I just simply click on it and Canva will bring it to the section where I positioned my guide. Now let me play the video to see how this sound effect looks on my video. So play. Okay, so this one is the first idea or the first way to insert your sound effects. There you go. Now I'm going to show you a different way to insert a sound effect. This one is by selecting a specific section of your video. So let's say that you want to insert a subscribe button animation on your video. You would like to position this guide on the section where you want this animation to appear. So right click, split image, then you're going to position this guide where you want the animation to disappear. Then right click, split image. On this section, you're going to position the animation or the element that you want to pop on your video. Gonna find someone really fast. So let's say subscribe. And I'm going to add one of these animated elements. Okay, let's adjust the size and position it somewhere here. Once you have your element on the video, you're going to position this guide at the beginning of this section, go to audio, select one of the sound effects, and there you have the sound effect inserted into your video. So let me delete the first one and play. If you want the animation to have another sound effect when it disappears, maybe you would like to bring a different sound effect at the end of the cut. So let's say we added here champagne cork pop one. Let's try the second one. So champagne cork pop two. And now let's add also an animation to this element. So let's go for pop on both. So on enter and on exit. Let's play. There you go. So you have the sound effect when it enters or when it pops and then a sound effect when this disappears. 
If you want to play around with the position of your sound effect, you can zoom on these thumbnails. Remember that you need to select zoom thumbnails in here so you can do a zoom on this page or on these thumbnails. So I selected thumbnails. Now I'm making this big to be able to work with my sound effects. If I want this sound effect to come earlier during the video, I can drag it around and position it where I want it to go. And then we can see if the audio is synced with the elements that are appearing on the video. I think this one looks better. And now let me show you a third way in which you can add these sound effects. So on this specific video, I'm gonna crop the section at the beginning before I start speaking. So I'm gonna crop this section and then I'm gonna find the section where I stop talking. Sound effects in Canva. Perfect. And then I'm gonna crop this section right here. I'm gonna delete these two sections of the video because I don't need them anymore. And now I'm going to add a new page. I'm gonna adjust the timing of this page to one second and change the color of the background to pink. Now I'm gonna make sure that my guide is positioned at the beginning of this new page and then I'm gonna add my sound effect. So I think this is a different way to add sound effects because I'm not working directly on the video but I'm creating another section in the video with sound effects. Okay, so for this one, I would like to add a text box. So let's go to text, add a heading, and then I'm gonna write one in here, add effects and background. So what I want in here is to create an animation that goes together with the sound effect. So I have my number ready, let's go to animate and now let's add an animation. For this one, I think burst can look good or pop. Let's go for pop and make sure that you select only on enter. Okay, so let me check how this one looks. Let's preview it. Okay, there we go. Now what I would like to do is to duplicate this page and then keep changing the numbers. Okay, there we go. Now let's work with different keywords to find different sound effects available in Canva. So let's go to audio and this time let's search for plus plunger section. Here you have another list of sound effects that you can use on your videos. So remember to position this line or this guide where you want the sound effect to come. And now let's select one of the plunger suction sound effects. Remember to go for the plunger suction and not the suction cup plunger because these two sound effects are very different. And what we are looking for is this one, plunger suction. So you can go for any of these options right here. And there we go, we have this sound effect. Let me show you the other options that we have in here. Plunger 3. I prefer Plunger 3 actually. Let's see the number 2. And number 1. Okay, so I guess I will go for number three. Perfect. Now let's duplicate this page and let's add the sound effect number three, which is suction pop SFX. Let me bring my guide where I want the sound effect to go and let's try 
plunger section two. And plunger section number one. The two options are really good. Now duplicate page. Let's go for sound effect number four. This time we're going to search for mouth pop. Let's try the first option we see right here. I really like this one. One of my favorites. Let's go for mouth pop two. Okay. Mouth pop one. All of these are really great. And human mouth pop. Okay, I think I will go for mouth pop finger. And lastly, let me show you the sound effect number five. This time we're going to search for whoosh. Okay, so remember to bring the line or the guide where you want the sound effect to go. And in here you have a lot of options to choose from. So make sure that you play around and you hear all the whoosh sounds available in Canva. These are also really great. Whoosh number five. Let me show you maybe the whip or whoosh number six. And maybe just one more, why not? Number nine. So you have a lot of variety here. I really recommend you guys go and play around with these options in here. I'm gonna go for number five. Now I want to mention three things that are very important if you are going to work with these sound effects in Canva. The first one is that at the moment we have a limit of 20 audio tracks. I don't know if this is going to change with time, but this is what is available at the moment. So if you are planning on work on a long or a big video piece, you won't be able to add more than 20 of these sound effects. The the second thing is that these audio tracks or these sound effects are available for Canva Pro users. So if you have a free account and you want to download this video with these sound effects, you will have to pay for the license of each sound effect that you are going to use on your video. If you have a Canva free account and you are still not sure if you want to pay for Canva Pro, we have a free trial that you can use for 45 days. During this free trial, you can use all of these pro audio tracks and all the Canva Pro features. So if you are interested in that free trial, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Lastly, the third thing, the third thing, <laughs> the third thing that I want to mention is that if you are working on a video that you want to upload to YouTube, you need to connect your Canva account to your YouTube channel. So let me show you where you can connect your YouTube channel to Canva. Let's go back to the Canva editor and let's say that you already have your video ready. It is ready to be downloaded. Go to the navigation bar on top and select share. In here, select download and then make sure that you have mp4 video all pages selected now let's pay attention to this section in green it says your one design use music license will be connected to your accounts each time you use this in a new video export a new design to avoid a content id claim so every time that you need to use a video using the sound effects in canva you need to download it one more time. Then you can connect your YouTube channel from here. Connect more accounts. When you click here, Canva will give you different steps to follow. 
to connect your YouTube channel, but that is pretty simple. I already did it. So when I click in here, Canva already knows which is my channel and it shows it in here. It says to avoid music copyright claims, connect your social accounts so we can clear your video on the following platforms. So I already have my YouTube channel in there and then I just simply need to download.